welcome to my channel if you're brand new to my channel go ahead and subscribe you know the theme of the week is basically subscribe to each other let's all support and today's video is on this look that I have on right now I tested out some new products I went ahead and tested out the glam metals palette as well as the pure palette that we got in the boxy charm this month so this is the interesting look that I came up with and if you want to see that look go ahead and keep on I was requested to do a look using my glam metals palette from crown so today I am going to be doing just that this right here is that palette and these are all the shades they're very like metallic and very beautiful usually when I'm gonna start a look I usually go in and I swatch the colors just to see the color scheme and see like what colors I want to pair up with which colors so I'm brand new to this palette and I've never swatched it so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few of the colors for all of the colors just to see and get a feel of what type of look I want to give to my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the first one which is Punk. It's this gray shade right here. Just swatch them on my arm. Well, that's a nice swatch. And then the next color is a Wild Thing which is a brown. The third shade is Black Metal. Ooh. Um, okay, so as I was swatching some of it broke off and fell into the other eyeshadow that's not a good thing there's that so there's that swatch for the next set of colors we have rock on rebel Ooh, heavy metal metal I don't feel like it has a lot of pigmentation I don't know and the last three which are the wicked glam rock and pop rock so right there those are all the shades from this palette and I'm just gonna take a minute to look at them go ahead and prime my eyes using the essence eyeshadow base and the first thing I noticed with this palette is that there aren't that many matte shades or a color to set the eye so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tarte clay play to do that and for this look I think I am going to go in with the I think I'm going to set I'm gonna go ahead and set with this color right here so I'm gonna try to do a grungy look I'm gonna go ahead and use the color the wicked on my blending brush which seems like it's gonna be a light shade I'm gonna use that inside my crease so I'm just going to work that into the crease So I'm going to go ahead and use this brush right here to pat on some rubble, which is this orange shade, right onto the center of the lid, or the mobile part of the lid. Then on a blending brush, I'm going to take Rock On. that right into my crease area the outer crease area blending in both that copper color and this bronze color I do want to add a little bit more of that rebel color onto like I want to drag it up a little bit higher I'm going to take the black metal color on a small blending brush and just pop in just a little bit of that just on the outer end, the smallest amount of that. 
then I want to take the color Pop Rock, which is this one right here. And just place a little bit of that on the inner corner. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of the Rock On color on a flat brush and I'm just going to drag that all the way across. Then with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and try to buff out just the edges up here. And then again with the clay play, I'm going to go in to the second lightest shade. what I'm going to use in the brow bone area and to buff out any harsh edges. So I went off camera and I went ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I went ahead and put eyeliner and I put on some lashes. I'm going to go ahead and test out this pure bronze and brighten kit that I also got in my BoxyCharm along with that metals palette. And this has some really, really pigmented colors. I have not swatched these. I will go ahead and do that now. These are those three shades. Oh my goodness, are they pigmented. And frankly, I'm kind of scared of what they're going to do to my face. Because look at how bright that coral is, how bright that highlighter is, and that bronzer. I'm going to start with the bronzer and I'm going to just go and tap it lightly. I don't know how pigmented that is, but I'm going to just give myself a little like glow. Usually make like a three on my face when I do bronzer. <laughs> I have this big patch of like bronzer right here oh okay let's go ahead and try to like a bronze into my hairline see if I even it out <laughs> oh that kind of made my head look really red I'm just gonna go over with my foundation brush so the bronzer not my favorite um I knew I already knew that I was already expecting that now I did go ahead and use my usual blush and I have like some really red like I have a redness or a red spot right here for some reason but it's not gonna keep me me from testing out new things so I'm gonna go ahead with the blush shade And I'm gonna just like try to hit the tops of my cheek. Okay, not bad. Yeah, you could really go heavy handed with this. I don't know that this is like my favorite type of color. I look so shiny right now. I just took my grungy look and just gave it a brand new look. <laughs> so then I'm going to go and highlight. I'm going to be using my new Wet n Wild Unicorn Highlighting Brush. And I know the highlight I'm going to love because I'll be. I love highlight so... I feel like this whole palette is so glowy.
Okay, the highlight is beautiful. However, that blush and that bronzer is so intense right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and I am going to just press into that cheek and that bronzer to see if I subdue that color a bit. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so this is my completed look using the Glam Metals palette as well as testing out the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette, which these were both featured in my BoxyCharm. And I hope that you like this look. It's a little bit interesting. My eye is doing something weird. It's kind of grungy, but kind of like glowy at the same time. I am not mad at it. I kind of do like it. It's sort of me. I'm kind of like weird. And I paired it up with a brown lipstick. So this is my completed look. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like when I do makeup tutorials or, you know, me playing in makeup. I don't know if this can be considered a tutorial. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. Become a member of my Guns family. And as always, from my house to yours, love ya.